everyone and happy Saturday. My name is Callie and this is another weekend of clarinets, cats, and coffee. In today's video I am giving you guys an articulation exercise from the Vidman Etudes. So um, I've been using this as an articulation warm-up the past few days and it's been kind of a good time. It's really fun. Um, and I thought it would be an appropriate etude for my YouTube channel because it works on um, a lot of fundamentals. It's really short and you get to do a bunch of little arpeggios and stuff too. So you get to warm up your tongue just as much as your fingers. Before we get into this, I want to thank my patrons for supporting my channel. If you guys are not already a patron and you want to support these educational videos, please click on the link below and become a patron for as little as $3 a month. In addition to that, I also have a Facebook group dedicated to the Saturday morning series clarinets, cats, and coffee. I have a link to that in the video description as well. It's a private group. It's free to join. You have to request to join, but every week, if viewers so choose, you may record yourself playing the weekly excerpt and post the video on the Facebook group and get comments or whatever it is you want from the group, but we're there to support each other and be part of everybody's practice journey over the course of time. All right, so this etude. Now, one of the things that I really like about this is that you get to, in the first few lines, it's kind of like, all right, these are the arpeggios that this etude is about. You get C major, you get G minor, you get A minor, and what is that, D minor as well. And then just in case you forget a little chromaticism, they throw that in there as well. And then the, pa the last few measures, you just get to do these arpeggios, broken chords going up and down. And I like to do everything articulated, but if you feel like you could benefit from doing different articulation patterns like slur to tongue to, or slurring all of it, or just tonguing every four, it's totally cool for you to practice that way as well. Now, I don't like to play this super crazy fast because I like to use this to kind of warm up my tongue and warm up my air and warm up my fingers. And so I focus on playing this at a very consistent volume with a nice resonant tone and I try to get every note to speak. And so I'll run through it a few times and then move on to the next thing in my practice routine. So I can't wait to hear you guys work on this and post this on the YouTube group. And you know, one modification you could make, if some of this goes up too high, just play some parts of it down an octave. Nobody's gonna judge you or be mad at you because you did that. Um, this, is, this is meant to be something that we can all do. So modify this to whatever suits your your needs and just video it and put it up on the Facebook group. I wanna hear you guys play. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a good weekend and a good rest of your week. And as always, happy practicing. <laughs> 